This is the fifth estate winning headlines. Your media police post coming to you from Nairobi, Kenya, from the Fortal School of Government. In this segment, we summarize some of the headlines that you may have missed this morning. But we also take a look at some of the political pieces that we call cartoons in this country. Today is the 19th of April, 2022, and I am 2M. I am AX. And I am JM. In case you missed the headlines this morning, here they are. In the Daily Nation, do they stand a DP chance? In the Standard, Ngilu to Raila. Pick Karua for running mate. Mm -hmm. In the Star, Musalia to land finance top job in Ruto cabinet. And in the People Daily, Uhuru meets Raila Kalonzo on DP post. Mm. 2M, kick us off. Yes, now legend has it that late Kisi political supremo Simeon Yachai once said, if you see Tuki Kuyus in conversation, do not be worried. Mm -hmm. But if you see Tuki Kuyus, one looking one way and the other looking the opposite direction, then you must be very worried. Mm -hmm. His point was, when Kikuyus are in conversation, they are scheming. When looking in opposite directions, they are executing the scheme. Mm. Put simply, when Kikuyus are looking in opposite directions, it is because they are working in concert. My word. Mm. And this we have learned from history. Whenever outsiders attempted to colonize Kikuyus, Kikuyus looked in opposite directions. Mm -hmm. When the colonizers attempted to rule them, they looked in opposite directions. Some joined the Mau Mau and the others became collaborators. Mm -hmm. But when independence happened, both became one again. Mm -hmm. When the Moi regime persecuted Kikuyus, some joined him and some openly fought him. Mm -hmm. But by the time he was leaving power, Gemma was one again under Moi Kibaki. Mm -hmm. And now, when an outsider, Chief Hasla himself, is attempting to colonize Gemma, they again, just like clockwork, will look in opposite directions. Mm. And before Ruto knows it, Kikuyus will band together again. Mm -hmm. It's in their nature. Mm. But I have another thought. What are the chances that William Arab Samoy Ruto <laughs> believes he's Mount Kenya's Molamaki? We ask this because why would Mukomen supervise elections in Embu? and Rigadi cannot supervise elections in Wasingishu. Mm -hmm. Why would Sudi and Kibet, that Kibet chap, run the nominations show in Moranga, Nyeri and Kiambu, yeah. and yet Dindi Nyoro cannot supervise nominations in Elgeo Marakwet? Mm. In our view, Ruto believes Kikuyus are his property. Mm. That is why Ruto can go to Uhuru Kenyatta's gate in Ishaweri and insult him. Yeah. That is why Kikuyu women are being slapped in Karen and Ruto and Ruto will not say a word. Mm -hmm. In fact, as GK said last week, that is why all the women around Ruto are Kikuyu. He knows he has the title deed of Mount Kenya. And if Kikuyus are his property, yeah. why does he need a running mate from Mount Kenya anyway? Mm -hmm. He does it. If anything, Ruto, if Ruto ever becomes president, Central Kenya will effectively be an extension of Rift Valley. Mm. Niki Kuyus will be dominated proper and he will do nothing about it. Mm -hmm. Indeed. All right. So today I would like to talk about the determination of one man, Stephen Kalonzo Misyoka. He is determined to be Raila's running mate at all costs. When people insisted that Raila's DP must come from the mountain, Kalonzo announced that he too came from the mountain. And now that the women in Azimio have endorsed a female running mate, I wouldn't be surprised if Kalonzo announced that he has been a woman all his life. <laughs> this is how determined Kalonzo is to become Raila's running mate. And from his perspective, it makes sense. Everyone knows that Raila is going to be a one-term president. This means that whoever deputizes him is best placed to succeed him in 2027. And since Kalonzo wants to be president, he needs to be Raila's deputy. However, from our perspective, or mine, Kalonzo as a running mate does not make sense. Mm. First, if Kalonzo's motivation for the DP position is the guarantee of the presidency, then it is my humble pleasure <laughs> to inform him that no such guarantee exists. Of the 10 vice presidents and one deputy president we've had in our history, only two have successfully made the transition from DP to president, mm. Moy and Kibaki. Yes. And of the two, only one, Moy, became the president immediately after being the VP. Yes. This means that the DP to president pipeline is not a sure not at the ballot box and not through other political machinations. Mm, yeah. Just ask Ruto and his alleged plots. <laughs> mm. If Kalonzo is to be made president in 2027, it will not be because he was DP or has been the DP or whatever. Right. It will be because he aligns with the interests of the critical few. Yes. Given this observation, why is Kalonzo fighting so hard when what he seeks can be achieved by supporting Raila like that? Yeah. 
Now, is it possible that Kalonzo wants to be DP, not to win the 2027 election, but to co-opt Raila's presidency? Remember, in March, he expressed his intention to impeach Raila if he feels betrayed. Yes. And this is before the election. If this is what he's willing to do before Baba has been elected, what will he be willing to do after as Raila's potential DP? Mm. Given that the DP has constitutionally guaranteed job security, even in the face of blatant impunity, what guarantee does Raila have that Colonza will not, and to put it delicately, screw him over. Mm. Put differently, how can Raila trust Colonzo? And this brings me to my second point. Colonzo doesn't make sense as a running mate because he is untrustworthy. Mm. This is a man who in, in 2007, after promising to support Raila, abandoned him and ran away with the ODM certificate, yeah. all because he wasn't the par party nominee for president. In more recent history, Colonzo has been inconsistent. Eight days ago, he said it wasn't a must for him to be the running mate. Yeah. And now he is insisting it has to be him on the ticket. If and if trust is based on fulfilling expectations of behavior, right. then how can Ryla trust a man who flip-flops more than a fish on dry land? <laughs> when you combine these two facts with the appeal of literally any other match, yes. what reason does Ryla have to name Colonzo as his running mate in mm. nine days? Mm. Makes sense. What reason has Colonzo <coughs> given Ryla yeah. to name him? Yes. Your guess is as good as mine. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> now, let me stick on that theme. With less mm -hmm. than 10 days to go for Ryla and Ruta to officially announce their running mates to Kenyans, we are in for a week full of surprises. Yes. yes. There will be all manner of twists and turns, lots of monkey business, and lots of broken mm -hmm. hearts. As you know, Ryla and Ruta are facing the running mate dilemma. They are in what you call a double bind. But this is no ordinary double bind. This is a high stakes double bind. Mm -hmm. If Ruto selects Modavadi as his deputy, Kikuyus will boycott the August 2022 election. Mm. If he selects Anwaiguru or Susan Kihika, it may put fire in the belly of the mountain, mm -hmm. yes. But the rest of his Kenya Kwanzaa alliance will ask the question Uhuru Kenyatta asked a year ago while at Mululu, yeah. while at Musalia Mudavadi's mm -hmm. mother's funeral. Mm -hmm. Yes. Kama hiyo ndiyo thinking ama logic. Hata mimi naweza nisimame hapa basi niseme. Kuna jamii tu mbili za Kenya ambazo zimetawala. Labda ni nafasi ya jamii ingine pia kutawala. Hey. And that is how Ruto's ambitions will be shot to dust on the 28th of April in just 10 days. Yeah. Raila as well faces a double bind of sorts. If he selects Kalonzo, the 25% of Kikuyu nation that he's already got in the bag will become ambivalent. Mm -hmm. If he goes with a strong Kikuyu candidate, Kambas will insist that that Kikuyu is worth more than Kalonzo's 1.5 million votes. Be that as it may, running mates must be selected. Mm -hmm. So let me give you a bit of a more Kenya so that you don't fall for the Ryla Ruto red herrings this mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. Now this week, both candidates will be using the Fort Hall School of Government's three-part evaluation test in their selection mm -hmm. of the running mate. Mm -hmm. yes. We call it the Sufficiency, Bankability and Relevance test. Okay. When presented with the options for running mate, the first question the principals will ask is, is the candidate sufficient, mm -hmm. meaning does he or she fit the electability criteria of image, money, and message? Image, do they project the personal characteristics that enable the public to envision them as deputy president? Money, no money, no campaign. Mm. And if the candidate is not well in doubt, he or she has to at least have the ability to convene the big boys, yes. and the fat cats. Yes. Yes. Message, is the candidate a self-propelling person? Does he or she have traction on the ground? Mm -hmm. Are they able to motivate the electorate into action? Mm -hmm. The second question the principals will ask is, is the candidate bankable? Mm. Meaning, once the election is over and they have won, will the candidate keep their promise to the principal? Mm. Or will he, like William Ruto, grow horns, <laughs> go rogue, and undermine his boss at every turn? Yes. The question here really is, whom can you keep on a short leash? Bankability is also about political experience. Mm -hmm. Whoever is selected as running mate must be someone with superb political acumen. Yeah. And the final question the principals will ask is, is the candidate relevant for the times? Mm -hmm. Meaning, does the power of context favor them? The power of context that Malcolm Gladwell talks about. Mm -hmm. Put differently, who is the candidate of least resistance? Who will be propelled by the times? Okay. 
the Ryla shortlist, Martha Krua, Peter Kenneth, Peter Munya, and Kalonzo Musioka. Who will it be? <laughs> mm. And the Ruta shortlist, Anwar Guru, Susan Kehika, Rigadi Gashawa, or Musalia mm. Mudavadi. Mm. Well, we'll find out on the 28th of April. Yeah, we will. Mm. So we've got a three-part criteria that we mm. use to assess the headlines. Mm -hmm. Topical, speculative, repetitive, groundbreaking, yeah. and thoughtful, just plain lazy. I'm gravitating towards the Daily Nation. Yes. Yeah. Do they stand a DP chance? These yeah, women from Kuna. Absolutely. Pretty exciting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Great. So we give uh, the winning headline to the Daily Nation and we'll touch the rest. Yeah. Um, and onto the political piece we call cartoons. Let's begin with uh, the star. Of course. So in the star cartoon, you have two people appearing to herd or shepherd chickens. Um, on the left hand side, you have Ruto. On the right hand side, I believe it's Raila Odinga. And both of them are chasing around chickens trying to organize them. The caption with Within the cartoon says the Herculean tax of task of retaining party loyalists after nominations. Mm. And if you have a keen eye, you'll notice the chickens spell out the word independent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a wow. sign of a sign of the things to come. Uh, Very smart cartoon. I love, I love yes. The fallback, huh? Yeah. The context for this is that remember that in about 13 days, I think May 2nd, candidates, mm. Mm. that is a deadline upon which candidates have to resign if they wish to register as independents and run on their own. Mm. Now we suspect we're going to be seeing a lot of independent candidates this year. Mm -hmm. Hence yeah. the trying to catch mm -hmm. these chickens. Absolutely. That's yeah. a quite a humorous one. I think we put mm -hmm. it in the bucking bay as we consider the Daily Nation. Daily Nation, oh, you have to, yes, you have uh, Ndula there. It's uh, caricatures of uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta, Raila Odinga, and Kalonzo Musyoka on a boat uh, <laughs> called Azimio. And uh, uh, Uhuru and Raila are both paddling. What are they called? Are they called Ozo oars, or paddles. Yeah, oars, yeah. And, uh, and, and Kalonzo is there with his wipe ahead and he's sewing the boat. He's, mm. He was malfunctioning, from, malfunctioning it from, from within. <laughs> I think this with, re with regard to his claims, he w says he wants to be running mate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. 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 His shirt also says, no Kalonzo, no Raila. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Okay. I think okay. He'll, he, he will be dominated upon. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Uh, now we have the standard, and here we have a cartoon depicting a line of uh, African uh, what are the IDPs now, or, you know, yeah. I don't know, tra refugees standing before a tank. Um, in this context, here is, is Ukraine, um, and a soldier has popped out of the tank and he's telling the these Africans, You can't be refugees, but you're welcome to stay and fight. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, any comment on that? No, 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 it no, speaks no. for itself. It speaks for itself, huh? Yeah, Absolutely. all right, so let's. I think, you know what, I'm gravitating towards the star. Mm. The, the I, the, the, the Herculean yeah, yeah. task of retaining party loyalists. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This is yeah. quite humorous. It's very good. good. They spell independent, the chicken are. Ah, that's fantastic. Love Brilliant. It. So, there is. so <laughs> toss the <laughs> rest. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. So, we had a winning headline from the Daily Nation and a winning party from the Star. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. We're also on your TV screens, uh, Pan Free to Air, uh, Go TV, and Star Times. You can follow me on uh, TikTok at Mainawa Kangema. How about you too? Oh, oh, I have. Yes. You won't find my social medias. All right. <laughs> all right. Find me on Twitter at KMina and uh, on TikTok at Kandabongo. See you tomorrow.